Bill Pangs, the struggling economy leaving many who used to donate now in need themselves, and that's forcing nonprofits to do more with less. Today, though, agencies from across the state are meeting to figure out how they can continue to help those in need despite a drop in donations. And Vanessa joining us live now with more on how they're trying to do this. Vanessa? Hey Angela, we're here at the Governor's Conference really starting to get going this morning. As you mentioned, about 300 nonprofits getting together here today trying to figure out the best way to survive and even thrive in such a tough economy. Jim Houston joining us now, one of the groups sponsoring the event. Explain to me your group and what you guys are doing here today. Thank you very much, Vanessa. Um, I'm with the Office of Faith-Based and Community Initiatives and one of our main missions is to work on service and volunteerism and to help nonprofits and faith-based organizations get connected with resources. In today's conference hopefully will address all of those challenges that they are facing. Yeah, specifically we've been talking about just, you know, the economic environment, how it can make a challenge. More people in need, fewer people donating. How can you guys help with that and how can other people here today help with that? Well, today's conference is an opportunity to share best practices with faith-based and nonprofit organizations on how to raise money, how to work better with volunteers, how to use the new alternative media forms to communicate more effectively and face those challenges because we are short of resources a lot of times and the way to address that is by connecting with people. Short on resources but not short on people wanting to do good. Certainly can see that from the turnout here today. What do you hope uh, at the end of the conference people walk away with from here? Well, our hope is that we've empowered people to access resources that will serve them in the human needs challenges that they're facing. That's the biggest accomplishment that we could have is that they actually get connected and know more organizations and more people that can help them do their job. Helping them help our Hoosier communities. Right. Thank you so much, Jim Houston, for joining us this morning, guys. And the conference getting underway. It'll go all day. Uh, the lunchtime speaker is going to be the chancellor from IUPUI. They're another sponsor of today's conference. Reporting live on the north side, Vanessa McClure, Fox 59 News.